Hello everyone, uh, GameDog here, and welcome to Clouds of Rain. Uh, this is another RPG Maker dev request, by, this time by Graphic Line Games. And also, um, I also received a free copy of this game specifically for the purposes of Let's Playing it. Let's go ahead and see what it's like. Tactical Story or Relax Mode. Huh. Interesting. Usually I see difficulty go the other way, where like, you know, there's a normal mode, there's a hard mode, and then there's like a story mode. Is that like the hard mode or something then? Wait, what did it start on? It started on tactical, which makes me think that that's like the, um, the default mode. We'll try this, I'm good at RPGs, so... <laughs> I hope I didn't screw myself over by picking that. No one knows, but it's a matter of time before the sun will set on our lands forever. The people have betrayed our ancestors. They have defied the gods and brought them close to extinction. For this, we need to protect them by all means, at our disposal. The conflict is inevitable, and we will be all be a part of it. say a scrolling background with text on top of it is kind of cliche but like the smooth scroll a storm is rising really just kind of makes it cooler like <laughs> it's, it's, i really like the art so far too that was a cool screen oh my god i know i must still wait i vacillate between suffering and the desire to kill you But as long as my precious memories remain clear in my mind, I'll keep going. Somewhere on the edge between reason and insanity. Though for now, I'm abandoning my instinct. Here I go. <laughs> it's... Oh. Og. What a bad landing. Wow, this almost doesn't look like RPG Maker. <laughs> Guess I need to be next to a campfire to save. I need to heal myself. I, this looks really cool. <laughs> oh, okay. They approached me, so they got a back attack on me. Or they, like, stuck up me from behind because I was trying to run away. I have a lot of MP. I guess I'll just do this to make up for, uh... Oh, you have elements! Well, fire usually resists itself, and water is usually... Oh, even your normal attacks require, um... Pulls the enemy forward. Also, there are, like, rows. And I'm poisoned. I don't have something to heal that right now. Although these enemies, like, seem to die in two hits anyway, so I'm not really too worried. 
This is really cool. <laughs> what does Primrose do? That's it? Okay. It looks like I'm fire elemented myself, too. I want to see what that like weird ghost looking thing behind me was. This Leviathan moves a lot. I should still have some re a remedy for nausea. Remove on sc screen oscillation. Oh, is that like an accessibility thing? Because some people might get motion sickness while are playing that? Huh. I can always get it from my pack if I need some. Huh, <laughs> that's really clever actually. Amateurs. Shit, this Leviathan is infested with parasites. Healing herbs. Maybe I can use some. It pushed me back. I can't perform physical attacks from here. I'm too far away. Luckily, its element is nature, so it's vulnerable to fire. It'll burn like an old piece of wood. Okay, so rows are a thing in this game. I, that did less damage than my normal attack. If I stay in the back, I'll suffer less damage, and I'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Okay, I, I gotta explain the movement here real quick. When you press it, there's, like, momentum to it, which is very different. Like, typically RPG Maker games, they have, like, a very rigid grid bait, or they're, like, very rigidly on a grid. Okay. I mean, I've played games that, like, let you run in eight directions before, but never anything like this. Fire insect. My spell won't be effective against it. I better start the fight in a good position for melee attacks. I can also take this chance to get some of my health back. Oh, that even, like, changes their stats, too. I really like that, actually. Like, that just straight up tells you, like... You know, this lowers your defense, your magical attack. Doesn't seem to affect your luck at all. I'm assuming that's what that last stat is. You can become faster in, like, uh, the farther rows. Uh-oh. Did you hit me from behind? No, you didn't. Yeah, and he's in the front row, which is why that, that fire spell didn't do too much. Oh, there's a limit to how many items you can have. Okay, that's like one of those... Well, that's one way to, in to incentivize players use them. <laughs> it's... Amateurs. Crushing weapon. It'll be useful against heavily armored enemies. Strange how that doesn't like affect my stats at all. Maybe it's more the moves it gives me that I'm supposed to pay attention to? Oh, uh, uh-oh. It's stronger than I thought. I have to lower its defense.
I take it rows are very important in this game. It kind of feels that way so far. I'm gonna go back and use this real quick. Just so I can pick this up. Save again. Also, is there only one save file? That's kind of rare for RPG Maker. I didn't accidentally get back attack that time, that's pretty good. <laughs> Nice. It seemed like that enemy had, like, quote-unquote light armor, which is why I did that. I'm gonna use an item here. Oh! How many are there? I better develop a strategy. You know, if you're gonna have this many save points, why not, like, let the player just save anywhere? <laughs> What's this, like, yellow thing? Oh, okay. don't have a group hit, I believe. Oh, I should have- okay, okay. No, no. Okay, let's think a little bit. Well, first things first, we probably want to change to the barbed weapon. God, how many weapons are in this game? 
Also, why does it like this look like there's room for like nine of them here? I doubt you can equip nine weapons at the same time. <laughs> I guess I'll figure that out as we go along. I think the front row was still best for me. Wait, no, I got it. Okay, we'll move to the middle row. Because it seems like I two-shot these enemies anyway. So giving myself more defense might be worth it. This is like the kind of strategy you want to employ for like... Okay, okay, let's try this again. Good. Okay, um, let's use a potion. That went well. Three primroses. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet, please. <laughs> Okay, um, I think the middle row is still the best for me here, because still, I'll still be able to use my all my abilities, and I feel like more defense will be better. I'm gonna save it the last one. <laughs> this feels like a game where you're designed to lose a lot and like but like it does battles aren't super super long and also it seems like you're kind of designed to like try these fights multiple times i forgot to equip the correct weapon i guess we'll just defend for now charge uh i cannot do this from the back row i can hit you with this though whoa why do you have so much health It changed form. Shit, now it's vulnerable to piercing attacks. Huh, okay. I think I should start with the club, then. Maybe I should try this, too. When it pushes me back, I'll use that afterwards. Lowering your defense in general, I think, is just a better idea. Wait, did that stun you? Looks like you tried to move there, but couldn't. I know your defense is lowered when you do that. Oh, I'm getting way luckier here. Oh my god! He's a dragon tooth. Uh-oh. Huh. 
Huh? Why'd it go dark? I'm sliding off. Oh, well, you don't even get to kill the first boss? <laughs> That was actually a really nice tutorial. This game has some mechanics you wouldn't really expect from a normal RPG Maker game, and this game introduced them very well. I know, like, road changing and, like, weapon changing is really important in this game. So now we're on a ship. Shit. This time, uh, was too close. How long can I keep going like this? That's enough. You madman, I'm sick of helping you under these conditions. To kill one, uh, with ten men is near impossible, and you want to do it in, uh, do it in two. More money for us, you say. Bullshit. Think what you like, but I'm, I'm the commander of the ship. If you don't like my rules, you're free to go. Don't be difficult. You know very well I don't want to leave. Give me at least one good reason for this nonsense. And I don't dodge the subject like you and don't dodge the subject like you usually do. The fucking Leviathans. There's your reason. They destroy everything in their path, and some idiots continue to worship them. Good enough? Besides, you can make a lot of money selling the oil. And have a good time spending it in a, in a brothel. Or maybe there's no reason. I do it because I want to. I wake up in the morning, I want to take down a giant beast, just because I can. Yeah, it's that. Maybe I like killing Leviathans. Why do you care? In the end, you follow me anyway. Don't you? I think you're just scared. Scared of starting anew, or looking into the future. I don't know you very well, that's true. But it's not difficult to recognize that you're much more than you want people to believe. I don't understand why you're still working for me. I couldn't replace you. I could replace you in a heartbeat in the first, uh, with the first bum I run into. You don't need. Um, you don't need to understand. Just know that I've never seen someone hunt like you do. I want to stay and learn. The rest doesn't concern you. As you wish. The choice is yours. In any case, we have to go. We need new equipment, and the nearest island is three days from here. So let's start moving. Finally, we're here. I really need to sleep on solid ground. Wait, you can sleep later. A ship is approaching to board us. Sky Watchers. They'll be wanting to see if we're smuggling oil. I was beginning to miss you. Me too. I didn't think I had the effect on, uh, that effect on you. I'm flattered. But getting back to reality, you know why I'm here. You've been spotted in the proximity of a large male specimen. Are you sure? I don't think so. I've got my sources. You deserve to be locked away in a cell for all all the barrels of oil you sell at the Leviathan and the Leviathans you slay. You're, you exaggerate. Are you going to arrest us without evidence? We both know you can't do it without a good reason. Yeah? You truly astonish me. You know a lot for a nobody. Maybe you were somebody once, but look at you now. You're just a failure. Check the cargo. Anyway, tell me, aren't you too old for this stuff? Hunting leviathans is a hard and dangerous job. Damn, I thought you liked me because of my experience. I don't understand you guys. A leviathan's oil is extremely valuable, but trying to extract it is madness. Most die in their first attempt. Making a bit of money wouldn't hurt. Some good food, new clothes. I've been wearing these tatter, uh, tatters for far too long. Your ship is old, and your gear is ancient junk. There's only two of you. It would be difficult enough to take a, um, a youngin down, these, down in these conditions. I don't get what, what you're trying to accomplish. Nothing. They're clean. You hunters are reckless and without sc uh, scruples. It... It's all about the money. Well, one day soon, nature will rebel, and when it does, nobody will escape. You hunters are the plague of this world. 
Our curse. If you keep killing them, the wrath of the gods will fall upon all of our heads. By then, it'll be too late to repent. Don't you get it? Anything and everything can be sacred. It's up to, the, to for us to decide what to believe. Think of your head and live your own life. Everyone is the master of their own destiny. Words of the wind. One day I'll arrest you, and maybe then you'll see the wisdom in keeping your mouth shut. Looking forward to it. See you soon. They're finally going away. I don't get why they're uh, why they target us when there uh, there are bigger fish around. Because the captain has a thing for me. It's because I'm dangerous, and it pisses them off that I haven't uh, they haven't caught up with with, uh, with my hand in the cookie jar yet. Who pays these people anyway? The Sky Watchers are a branch of the Vox Populi, the army. And you? Why do you know all this? Anyone who does this job ought to know this essential information. You need to learn it, as well. Let's go. We're burning daylight. Another surprise before another sunset. Time passes and I have no answers. I can only continue on my path without turning back. Without any regrets. That was just the intro. Wow. <laughs> this game is really cool. I want to ask you again if what, like, if you want to change your difficulty. Honestly, if save points are that close to hard fights, I actually don't mind having to redo bot or redo fights over again. I kind of like that challenge, actually. But we'll stick with tactical. These ships look really cool as well. Here we are. Orders, Captain. You are free until further notice. We'll leave again shortly. Raze, I can already tell you that the commander specifically requested for you for a job in the capital. Inkis. I almost misread that as Ekans. <laughs> we'll go back to the Skywatcher's base. Copy. The commander is waiting for me. A shift. Yeah, I, I turn that on automatically, yeah. Wait, so we play as her? Interesting. Oh, it's a bestiary. Oh, luck is your dodge rate in this game. Okay. Okay, okay. So clubs and axes are good against heavy armor. Bows and daggers are good against light armor. Scythes are good against all three, but I guess maybe not as much. And swords are... and everything is good against magic armor. I'm assuming that thing at the bottom is like a light element. Wait, three pages of enemies? This game can't be that short. I don't think I downloaded the demo. I think this is the full game. We, the Vox Populi, enforce the law on the Earth, as you Sky Watchers do so in the sky. I can't stand that people don't appreciate us in the same way. I 
Have you ever seen Leviathans up close? They must be imposing. I heard they can destroy entire islands. My wife is waiting for me at home. I'll finish my work here soon. Are these chests I can open? No. Oh, those are bunk beds. Okay, these are like people's personal belongings. You know, I don't know why. This game kind of gives me like Xenoblade 2 vibes. Like, you start on an airship and there's like a giant titan, like, titanus monster involved. And then you go to like a place like this. This kind of reminds me of Argentum, actually. <laughs> Also, there's some work being done, um, like, in my area today, so I might, um, I might end this off, uh, next time we see a save point, because I don't want to, like, uh, actually, can I save? No, I have to be next to a campfire. <laughs> I don't want you guys to hear, like, hammering the background, you know? <laughs> I know they're gonna be here within, like, the next half hour. First Captain Eris. Greetings. The commander is not available at the moment, but he ordered me to give you this sealed letter. Maybe at the tower in the northeast wing. Come through the library. You'll need a pass. I hid it from prying eyes because there's no such thing as being too cautious. Look around the base. It's in a place where a human being passes a third of his existence below two unblinking female eyes. The library's up there. A bedroom? Wait, are those shields meant to be eyes? Access prohibited. Well, I guess I either have to find a way in there or that's not it. Is there a painting of a woman here? Oh! Nice! Okay. That's a clever first puzzle. I like that. <laughs> yeah, because those are the dormitories. That would make sense. I see you have the pass. The commander is expecting you upstairs. Now, what if just some Joe found that? <laughs> Major Commander Kessler, I read the message. I didn't think you liked riddles. Forgive me. I want to have I want to have a want to have a bit of fun. It gets boring here at the base. I'll get to the point. I need you to begin spying on a suspected hunter. His name is Banks. Oh, does this take place before that intro then? Banks. I'm familiar with him. He's notorious for his skills. Very good. You make my job easier. You must keep an eye on him, and as soon as you get the chance, arrest him. At that point, you must inform me personally. It won't be easy. He's good at hiding his tracks, appearing and disappearing constantly. I guess this does take place after that. Okay. I'm aware of that. Nobody needs to know that I'm looking for him, so I want you to be discreet. Track him, follow him, be his shadow, and an opportunity will arise. Luckily for you, I have some information that should come in handy. Once he was a soldier of ours, one of a decent high rank, but one day he abruptly left the Vox Populi and disappeared. If that's if it's that important, why don't why don't you put a couple of your men on his tracks? You know well that we're having very serious issues in the capital. Between these crazy rebels maintaining order and the murders at the dock, they might be here. <laughs> I just heard some doors slam. Uh, okay. Next save point we're ending this, <laughs> and then we'll, then we'll continue this the next episode. We don't have the people nor the time for this mission. Furthermore, as I said, this must be a task of absolute secrecy. Since he's a hunter now, who better than you to capture him? It's your job. You were born for this. Very well. It won't be easy, but you can count on me.
To keep a low profile, you should continue the, the search of for banks in parallel with other missions. I hope you're not hiding anything important from me, Kessler. It won't be easy working these uh <clears throat> working in these conditions, but I'll do what I can. Before you leave, congratulations on your promotion. I heard that upon your return, you'll be promoted to commander of the Sky Watchers. I'm proud of you. Time has passed swiftly, hasn't it? You are a great cadet. Keep it up. Thank you, Kessler. This means a lot. See you soon. How long has it been since you last piloted a ship, Ek I might just call him Ekans the whole game. <laughs> since training, Captain. Don't worry, you just need to refresh your memory. I wrote some tips on this parchment. You can check it whenever you want. It's in your inventory, don't worry. You just need to refresh your memory. Where are we heading? We're going back to base. Let's move. Oh! Oh, that's kind of cool. So if you just can't win a fight, you can just end it and then maybe retry it in a second. That's kind of cool. We already looked at that. I, I guess we're in an overworld. What in the world? Is that a 3D model? An RPG maker? Oh, I thought it would have, like, tank controls for a second, but it doesn't. <laughs> Just bump into a rock! <laughs> Looks like I can't go past the thick clouds. This is really cool. <laughs> we. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going precisely, but it looks like there's only one way I can go, so- Uh-oh! Learn to know your enemies. A crushing weapon will be more effective against this one. Sure, if they're armored, I need powerful and destructive weapons, like axes or hammers. I'm sorry, did the background just shift? That's a really inexpensive speed up for all. I don't have any more weapons. I'm gonna try and blind you. Oh, you're a cleric, okay. I did not do too much. The enemy is alone and desperate. Is that a status him? And he's shaking now. Also, do I know what your element is? Your air elemented. No, okay, you resist that. I mean, I should lower your defense anyway. It looks like you just tried to attack yourself. Okay, I'm clearly not doing this the most ideal way, but, like... This fight seems so- what the heck? You pulled her to the front and then just disappeared. Did you die from, like, bleed damage or something? Huh. Uh, well, I guess I want you in the back- or in the middle row for now, because that's where she started. Did she- end the battle on one health, or did I, like... Or did she, like, revive after the fight? J just eat all of our fruit, okay? Like, <laughs> it's...
There's an island here to the east. Try to dock. We might find supplies and wood to repair the ship. <laughs> From that time we bumped into something. Don't you remember? Do you remember how to do it? Sure, go over to the landing area and slow down the ship as much as possible. At that point, I dropped the anchor. Press OK or click. OK. Oh, there it is. I guess on this, like, light patch... There we go. There we go. Look! That enemy is distracted. Let's try to catch it off guard behind its back. We shouldn't run, though. It would notice us for sure. Oh, so there's an incentive to not run all the time. Well, how auto-run works is, like... What the hell? We have wings now. <laughs> This enemy is always weak too. I don't think I have any other weapons, so I guess we'll just stick with heavy blows. Okay, fair enough. If you hold down the run button when you have auto run on, your character will start to walk. A s or a sword. Okay. So if we're going to be fighting light ar armored enemies here, I should probably be using the sword and... Wait, do we have two swords now? I guess that makes sense. We got two party members. How do you do this again? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They have, like, equipment now. So the ship can get damaged outside of cutscenes. Okay. I'm gonna talk to you first. Don't worry about using tiring moves. If you miss the target, you won't use up energy. That is really cool, actually. Also, who are you? <laughs> what are you doing here? Do you live here? This place looks abandoned. Ah, uh, that's the purple flower. You're missing some MP. I really like how, you know, interactable elements like this, like, okay, it's kind of hard to explain, like, they look like background elements, but, like, they have just enough color on them that they do stand out, so you can tell, like, what you can interact with. Because, like, the, the art style of the game seems kind of, like, it has kind of, like, a muddled art style, but, like, it, it, um, it has, like, a very, like, you know gray and green kind of art style. But it makes it not look boring by just putting splashes of color in. Like, our main character has yellow on her. Um, interactable objects like chests, berries, and, like, fires have, like, warm colors instead. Like, it looks really nice. I said I was gonna end it off here. God, this is really cool so far. <laughs> I don't know how long this game is, but, like, I think I'm... I think I'm gonna be playing this one all the way through. <laughs> it's... Well, I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.